Automatic Tool Pathing ATP. My name is Mariana Lendl and I'm a trainer and book developer at In-House Solutions. In this video I'm going to explain how Automatic Tool Pathing, also known as ATP, works in Mastercam. Firstly, we will take a look at what ATP is and what are the advantages to use it. Next, you will learn about the workflow and the preparation steps required in Mastercam. You will see how to create a strategy and generate the level list to map the operations. Finally, we will run the cut list and generate the nested parts. Automatic toolpathing ATP, is the process of assigning toolpaths to geometry using a machining strategy. It is mainly used for recurrent parts such as doors and drawers in cabinet making. ATP automatically determines how the exported operations of a door are matched to levels that contain the geometry used to create the toolpaths. It scans through an input folder that contains the different size doors, picks the levels used and allows you to create a strategy. Once the strategy is created, you simply choose a cut list or files to be processed. ATP then automatically processes each individual part file using the strategy. Finally, ATP nests the toolpaths and posts the results to one or more NC files, depending on the number of sheets created. ATP is especially useful in large projects with many pieces of geometry. Once you set up a strategy, you can save valuable time by letting the software automatically find, chain and toolpath all the parts of the project. ATP Workflow Create the toolpaths for a part, in our case a door, and export them in an operation library. In the ATP, create a strategy by generating the level list and mapping the operations. Add material if using Mastercam configuration or run the cut list if importing the files to process all doors. At the end, the system will generate the nesting. Create the 3D door geometry. The geometry may be in DXF, DWG or Mastercam format and will typically be in the form of a 3D wireframe or solid model. You should start with a DXF file or Mastercam file with the largest number of operations. This file should contain all of the operations you need for all the other files in the job. If the door section is imported, you might need to scale it and clean it up to be a closed chain. You will also need to create two rectangles used in the toolpaths to machine the inside profile and the outside profile. The top of the panel should be constructed at Z0. The ATP program will be responsible for shifting all of the Z depths in the final NC code. Similar with the 3D geometry, the tool geometry may be in DXF, DWG or Mastercam format. If the section is imported, you might need to clean it up. To define a profile tool in Mastercam, you need to have half of the tool geometry. You also have to position the tool tip in the origin, as you can see. Half of the tool geometry has to be chainable, and do not forget to have the tip of the tool located in the origin. Finally, save the tool in the Router Tools folder. As an alternative option, you can save the geometry of the tools on different levels in the door file. You can use the Tool Manager or create each tool in the toolpaths and import the geometry from the file saved in the Router Tools folder. If you save the tools on different levels of the door file, use Import from Levels option. Create all profile tools as shown. Make sure that when you use import and link to custom geometry from a file, the tools will look as shown. If the tools doesn't appear, you have to reopen the tool geometry and fix it. You can also use the tool wizard and set up the feed rate, the plunge rate, retract rate and the spindle speed that you want this tool to use. Next step will be to generate the door toolpaths. Remember, you will need to create an inside uh, rectangle and an outside rectangle. The outside rectangle will be used for the outside toolpaths and the inner rectangle will be used to generate all the inside toolpaths. To offset the tool from the rectangles, you are going to use the stock to V-bone walls value. 
Also, you need to remember that ATP toolpath thing requires all the chains to be selected in the clockwise direction. Once you create all the operations, you might need to still reorder them to optimize the machining process. Keep in mind that bigger tools should remove the bulk of the material at the beginning of the program. You also want to minimize the tool changes as much as possible. Note that ATP supports the following toolpaths. Contour, pocket, drill, block drill, engrave, circle mill and helix bore. Before starting ATP, save the file with the toolpaths as the ATP template and export all the operations. Make sure that you select them all, right mouse click in the toolpaths manager, export and export it in an ATP door operations library. Create an input and output folder. If using Mastercam, use create door geometry command to link the Excel file and generate the rest of the doors. The following is an example of an Excel file. You need to provide the width, the length and the quantity for each door that you want to create. Use create door geometry to link the Excel file and to generate the rest of the doors. In the create door command, enable multi copies and make sure that you select the Excel spreadsheet that you are going to use. Also enable export to separate Mastercam files and make sure that you are saving all the doors in the input folder that you just created. If importing from a different software, save the DXF files that you are importing in the input folder and also save the cut list. The cut list should look something similar with the one that you can see. This specific one was generated in the KCD software. You also need to open each of the DXF files with the door geometry and check the levels that contain the geometry used in the toolpaths. The following steps are going to be done in the ATP. You need to set the ATP configuration, set the options parameters and the nesting parameters. You will also need to create a new strategy, set the add material parameters or the cut list and then eventually nest the doors. ATP configuration can be set to Mastercam or one of the software that you can see listed here. If changing to a different software, the ATP dialog boxes will look slightly different. You will be prompted to exit and restart the ATP. ATP can be started from the machining ribbon. And once you start it, you need to establish the configuration. Select the options. Make sure that you set up the default material sizes and also set Z0 at the top of the part. If using Mastercam, you are going to have the MCX enabled. Enable Keep Nested Drawing open at the end of process to keep the part file open after ATP nesting has been completed. In the nesting, make sure that tool number extending is enabled and also set up the sheet margin as you need it. Select new strategy and click on level scan. You should enter a name, ATP door for example. And make sure that you select from the ATP folder, the input folder. ATP creates automatically two levels, inner and outer level. From the operations libraries, select the ATP door that you created. Nine operation will be listed. When importing, you might need to remove the levels that are not containing the geometry used in the toolpath. Using Add New Level, 
add levels to have the same number of levels as the number of toolpaths that you exported in the library. Copy and paste the levels as needed. You will need two outer levels and seven inner levels. Allocate to each level their respective operation. It's very important when you generate a toolpath to use the comment area and name each operation. This will help you to select the proper operation for each level. Save the new strategy. In our example, we save it as door style. Select the OK button to exit. Make sure that the output folder looks at the output folder that you created. Also ensure that the machine definition is the one that you are going to use. In our case, we just use router default. And the strategy already exists. In the importing, right now we are going to use a cut list. In our case, we need to use Add Material. Click on Add Material tab. In the Material column, change the material name as needed. In our case, we'll enter MDF. In the File column, click on the Open Icon folder. Select the first door and holding down the Shift key, select the last one to open all of them as shown. Select the OK button to generate the nesting parts. Once you select the OK button, the system will generate the operations for each door. The nesting dialog box will appear in a couple of minutes. Check the sheets parameters and the parts parameters to ensure that you have all the parameters needed and then select the OK button. The nesting result page will appear on the screen. OK again. And the nesting will be completed. Set up the stock setup. And run verify to check the parts. Make sure that the doors are properly cut. You can generate the G-code from here. Master Cam Code Expert will appear on the screen. And you can send the file to the router machine. To summarize, create the toolpaths for one of the recurring parts, in our case a door, and export them in an operation library. In the ATP, create a strategy by generating the level list and mapping the toolpaths from the operation library. Add material if using Mastercam, or run the cut list if importing the files to process all doors. Nest the doors and generate the NC file to be sent to the CNC machine. Knowing ATP can save you valuable time by letting the software automatically find, chain, and toolpath all the parts of a large project, such as a cabinet making.